My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 11 for your English Language and Literature course for Grade 7. This uh, week extends from May 19th till May 23rd, 2024. 24. We are going to start this week with lessons. Hey, come on out. Text. We're going to read and annotate the text. Our word wall is going to include short story, disposal, annotate, consequences, and resolve. You're going to watch a video about, hey, come on out, vocabulary. And you're going to apply these strategies as you, as you conduct your first reading. Click on the picture to take you to the text. You're going to watch another video about, uh, hey, come, out, uh, come on out, text. And you're going to have uh, another interactive activity where where you're going to complete the comprehension check questions. A further practice, a challenging question where you're going to answer challenging questions on your notebook, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to briefly research an unfamiliar detail in your story. For week 11 lesson two, you're going to read and annotate the text and we're going to recognize irony. Our word wall is going to include short story, disposal, annotate, consequences, resolved, and irony. You're going to watch a video again about this story. Uh, you're going to have an interactive activity. And then we're going to start talking about irony. Then we're going to have another interactive activity related to irony. For your practice, challenging questions about the text and about irony, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took about irony and click on the picture to take you to the activity. Let's go now to lesson three. In lesson three, we are going to explore creation and to uh, concentrate on columns. By the end of this lesson, you're going to identify and apply rules for semicolons usage and find mistakes in its usage. Uh, our word wall is going to include punctuation marks, semicolons, run-ons, independent clauses, transi transitional words, and conjunctive adverbs. You're going to have an interactive activity related to your Savas uh, account. Uh, you will have a video about semicolons. Then you're going to write six original sentences that correctly uses uh, semicolons. Another video and another interactive activity related to your ebook. A further practice, of course, and challenging questions that you are going to answer via um, a link, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search about the usage of Collins and write them in your notebook. Um, now we're going to start with uh, lesson four, which is going to concentrate You're going to identify and apply rules for Collins usage, and you're going to find mistakes in its usage. Our word wall is going to include punctuation marks, Collins, run-on, independent clauses, transitional words, conjunctive adverbs, listing, and quotes. Uh, you will have uh, first uh, the lesson uh, on your ebook uh, that's going to help us understand more about using Collins. You will have a video about linking function of the colon. Um, an interactive activity related to Collins, Collins rules. You're going to have another interactive activity that's related to your ebook, a further practice, challenging questions, and a self assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, what is connotation and denotation? A denotation, I would like you to answer these questions. Now we're going to go to lesson five, which has to do with denotation and denotation as part of a vocabulary technique. You're going to differentiate between connotative and denotative meanings of words and apply this understanding through targeted worksheets, fostering their ability to analyze language uh, in different contexts. Our word wall is going to include uh, denotation and connotations, dictionary, literal meaning, uh, connotative meaning, uh, synonym, antonym, and context clues. You're going to have a PowerPoint on denotation and connotation. You're going to watch a video and have an interactive activity related to that, another video and another interactive activity related on your uh, topic, a further practice, and a set of challenging questions that you're going to answer on your notebook, and again, a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took. You're going to click on the picture to take you to the activity related to your topic. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.